What's the fastest food in the world? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're racing foods to finally find out which is truly the fastest. Yeah, we are. And today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's Hello. number one meal kit. Y'all ever find yourself eating the same old boring stuff day in, day out? Well, stop it now! With so many exciting recipes to choose from, HelloFresh makes it super easy to break free from that boring recipe rut. And HelloFresh cuts out all of the stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Plus, it's fun with pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipes. Even my kids. Even your kids. Love <laughs> helping make our HelloFresh meals at home. Also, HelloFresh is flexible and fits your lifestyle. You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, throw in extra proteins, y'all need that sometimes, or add in yummy meal compliments like their best-selling garlic bread, Ooh. which would probably go great with what we have right here. The cheesy uh -huh. smothered mushroom chicken. Oh yeah. Let's taste it. I got a, I got a little bit of smother and a little bit of chicken and a carrot. I like to sing mm. little jingles that educate myself about what I'm eating while I'm eating it. Do your kids who made this for you, um, do they sometimes appreciate I, that? Sometimes I make them sing the jingles to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. You're a good dad, you're a good dad. Go to hellofresh.com and use code GMM12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. Again, go to hellofresh.com and use code GMM12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. All right, now, uh, when we were kids, our Meemaws used to tell us, don't you play with your food, but Meemaw didn't say anything about racing your food. Mm -hmm. Yes, the rumors are true, a mythical speed slope has been created. <laughs> and today is the day we get supersonic with some real fast food. It's time for Forget horsepower and gas guzzling atrocities. Let's see what foods can reach maximum velocities. Welcome to the So Food So Furious Zone. And this is the mythical speed slope. Woo, this is quite a contraption we have here. And we're gonna be competing against each other in a series of races, except instead of racing cars, we're gonna be racing various food items. Oh, now I get it. That is what we need to do. <laughs> now, as you can see, we have a selection of food to draft a team of food from with the help of the one man pit crew, Chase. Welcome, Chase. Thanks. I'm a Welcome. Pit crew. He right. has a multi tool he has in a his multi -tool, pocket. Yes. Now, listen, here's the thing scientifically speaking, every food has a different inherent speed, y'all. Did you know that? We gotta be wise when we put together this snack squad. But, Chase, I see there are two different items right there in front of you. What, what's happening there? So you can also choose an advantage on your team. You can put something into the shopping cart and race Ooh, that. Looks fast. And a disadvantage, you can slather peanut butter on your opponent's course. Oh. Nice. I thought you were gonna say face. Or just eat it. <laughs> wow, there's lots of options there. I'll let you pick first, go ahead. I'm going to choose the jawbreaker. I was hoping right. you wouldn't see the jawbreaker hiding behind the orange, which I will choose the orange. I'm going to choose the onion. Well, my friend, I am going to choose the cart advantage because okay. that's got to be a winner. Put a burrito in there? I don't know. I'm going to choose the coconut. Oh. <laughs> Chase, is that a walnut? It's a in meatball. Front of the... That is a meatball. It's a meatball. Oh, that is a meatball? Uh, I'm going to go for grapes. All right. Okay. Uh, I assume I'm just going to roll one grape. Uh, grape. Yeah. Well, I'm doing the meatball then. It is round. See, if that corn stays aligned, yeah, shoot. Uh, I'm going for the tater. All right. That's heavy. Dense. I'm gonna choose a single popcorn kernel. <laughs> uh, what about that pineapple in that cart? That's not gonna lose. That's crazy. The weight of that. I just love to watch that. I'd love to see it happen. All right, I'll go with the pineapple. Hey! <laughs> and I guess I'll go with the peanut butter. That burrito would strow all over the place. Is that a word that people use outside of my county where I grew up? Strow? You strow a mess everywhere in here. But you in your relationship with corn, it. though, you know how when you, you eat it, you don't even know you're eating it? You yeah. Can't, you can't even remember it. So the corn on the cob is separate from the kernel? <laughs> that is true, yeah. I do think that will roll. 
Corn on the cob. <laughs> Thank you for telling uh, me cheese. I love how you just take all this advice <laughs> without <laughs> question. No, I questioned it, but I agree with it. Okay, so we have our teams. Now points escalate every heat. Whoever wins overall gets to be the cocky food jockey okay. in Good Mythical More, where the loser has to be the slow and sorry snail. <laughs> Okay, before this, in each heat, we're each gonna have to pick the runner that we want to race. And we're doing it blindly, because we're doing it at the same time. I can't know what you're gonna do. So, Stevie, you're gonna give us a countdown. We're going to select the item in the first heat. So that's an interesting strategy here. I mean, you got a lot more round stuff. I don't know exactly how that happened. Well, it's because I told you to get pineapple and corn, and you just did it. Well, by that point, there weren't any more round stuff, <laughs> but I have this card. All right, you're going to so stab your first racers. So you don't want to go too big too early unless the other guy goes really big really early. Don't overthink it, man. Three, two, one, stab. Tater versus the corn kernel. Ah! All right, let's load them up. You may not be able to see this, but Rhett has picked apparently his most pristine it's corn good, kernel. It's a good kernel. And I have my tater in its maximum potential energy position. Now, we each have a lever here that we can stomp on to release, but it releases the whole thing at the same time. So we'll just alternate. You can go first. All right. Are you ready to lose round I, one? I think I mean, that the potato has a better chance of doing this unless it gets hung up on the side. Unless it goes funk. Yeah. It's definitely heavier, so it, I mean, I don't know how gravity works. I think everything goes at the same speed, but there's friction involved, so. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Why don't you give it a shot, Rhett? I'll go next round. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> oh, you won! My tater went off hey, the course! But it was also, it wasn't as fast. It wasn't as fast. It wasn't as fast, man. Can we see a replay? How close was this? If it would have stayed on the course, I think I would have lost him. Okay, so I get one point. Tater out of control, man! <laughs> Now the strategy of this choice is tough, escalating man. points, man. Those later rounds saving. I, I really needed to win with that potato. Well, it's just a point. I mean, you can cancel that out easy. Okay, oh, here yeah, we go. Point. Okay. Three, two, one, step. Oh. Okay. What did you ball versus corn? Yes. And do you corn guys want to use any of your advantages Not or disadvantages? Yet. Nope. You might want a shopping cart for that <laughs> corn. This is, this is gonna run. I'm not gonna waste my shopping cart. Okay. All right, corn versus meatball. Anything can happen. I mean, you but most likely the meatball's gonna win. <laughs> well, I, I know that one end of the cob is bigger than the other, so it might do another thonk and go over. But but you've got a, like a universal sort of cosmic relationship with corn, so maybe we can you can will something here. All right, I'm going more aggressive this time. Three, two, one. Come on, corn. <laughs> Hold on, corn. Corn's still thinking about it. Corn's still thinking about it. Go on, corn. Go on, corn. Get out of here. Get out of here, corn. Uh, on, don't embarrass me like this. Yeah. Finish, finish the race, Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. Encourage it. I know, you obviously lost. Yeah. But we don't give up. <laughs> we give up twice. Uh, Dang it. Hmm. Hey, man. You know what? Points escalate. <laughs> it just, it doesn't, it doesn't want to... He doesn't that, want to participate. I don't know if that counts, but okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> You've got three hefty round things. I'm going back to when I picked stuff and it didn't yeah. seem to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corn and potato so far. All right, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Three. I'm, you know, points escalate. That's what I'm banking on. Yeah, right. Yep. Three, two, one, step. Grapes versus gumball. Oh, okay, wow. Okay. Reminder. Could be interesting. You have your advantages and disadvantages that you I'm could use. I got, I'm saving it. I mean, I have to save it for the pineapple. Because <laughs> um, I've, I've learned from that corn on the cob that this pineapple is not going to go. I mean, here's all I can say about this is I think that the jawbreaker is probably my best item. I thought you were going to do orange. And so I was going to kind of counteract that with what I think is probably the fastest item in the whole game. I mean, it's a perfect sphere, man. Let's load them up. Okay, Link, you've selected a very round grape. I'm doing the best I can, but I actually think that this jawbreaker is probably the fastest thing according to testing. I mean, how could it not be? I mean, it's I mean, it's so it's, it's hard. Heavy, it's, it's perfectly round. Yeah, I mean, but hey, but it's not a grape. All right, stop it. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close! 
Whoa! Hey, it that was, was close, that man. Was, that was respectable. That yeah, was close. And that's all I'm looking for at this point that is just close. a little modicum of respect. Yeah, that was a fast great, but not quite fast enough. Still a shutout. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, so the Jawbreaker was officially the fastest food item, but things are about mm. to get a little bit more interesting because in front of you are flippers. I see this, yeah. An obstacle, and a little bit more interesting because, Link, you've got to win this heat in order to be able to stay in the race. I feel like I've got a good shot. I feel like you got a good shot, too. With your items, you got the cart, you got the orange. Yeah, it's just not over by a long shot. You ready to pick? Yeah. Three, two, one, stab. I gotta go for the gusto, which is my pineapple in my shopping cart. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make it go in here. Uh, yeah, that's my choice. Okay. Get in there! I mean, that that looks like it's gonna be like a bat out of hell, man. Uh, I mean, that's like a rocket ship. <laughs> All right. Feeling good about this. All right, you're, you're doing nothing but losing juice, so whenever you're ready, you can release the hounds. You're not feeling good, are you? No, I think you got me on this I mean, round. the cart may go all over the place, though. Three, two, one, go! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah it did, I yeah. obliterated you, man. That was fast. That made me faster than a jawbreaker. I'm still in this! <laughs> Okay, so we know that it's orange versus onion. It's just a question of, are you gonna use that peanut butter? Oh yeah, I've got a peanut butter plan, man. Okay, the only thing you missed in that cut was Rhett grunting and talking to himself while smearing peanut butter on my side of the board. Here's my strategy. I'm hoping that you're gonna hit this and basically pick up as much peanut butter as possible and then a little bit more here. And when you run into the ticker tape, it's gonna stick and it's gonna be this orange, it's gonna have ticker tape all over it. Now you may be wondering, why did I only choose one spot at the end? Because just like a keeper, not a goalie, what side of the ocean are you on? It's called a keeper. The keeper has to make but a ball. choice in the penalty time. You just gotta make a choice. You gotta anticipate. I'm anticipating your orange is gonna go right you're there. You're making a blind choice because you're very threatened right I, now. Oh, I believe I have about a 15% chance of winning just given the, all the circumstances at play. I believe I have a 15% chance of getting this thing to open on the first try. <laughs> okay, all right. And here we go. Three, two, one. For the win! No! <laughs> it works! No! And I chose right! I chose right, too! The peanut butter sabotaged you, man! That made the difference, didn't it? <laughs> Wasn't it that? Yeah, it totally is. If it slowed, wasn't for this... It slowed it down. That gum dollar! <laughs> to the job. The peanut butter guns, but you gotta admit, it's pretty cool that it's still, look, I chose exactly perfectly, it's still in it. Yeah, I admit, that's pretty cool, man. Well, what you did was cool, pretty cool, man. man. What you did, do you want that to be your prize, me admitting that what you did was no, cool? No, I just want you to be the slow and sorry snail in Good Mythical Morning, I'll be the cocky food jockey. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jeremy Dooley. And I'm Kat Dooley. And we're streaming with a bunch of friends, including Dave and Jen. And it's time oh to spin God. the wheel of mythicality! <laughs> I told you David had friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a dad joke. Click the top link to watch us play Mario Kart Live Home Circuit in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. On Earth Day and every day, let's do our part in making it a more mythical world. Start by spreading the word with this limited edition tea available now at mythical.com.